freaks below It was a very good night To get a grip Of falling to my own creep show Dangling like some drool From a mad dog's mouth Dying for some sympathy I heard a sweet young voice Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Let's Paint TV. That's right, that's the show that inspires you to get out there and bust, bust a move. Get some paint on the canvas, get out there and paint. Get out there, break through that ice that you always seem to have, that frustration and it just makes you just want to put your paints off into the closet and hide them. Let's get those paints out there tonight and let's get painting. Let's put some paint on the canvas. Okay, do you hear me? Good. Now we have a very special guest for us tonight, none other than the rock band. Do you guys call yourself a rock band or not? Is that, is that, a, is, would that be appropriate? Whatever. Well, the band. And they even have a MySpace account. It's Man Liquor Carcano. Hi guys. All right. So we're going to try something uh, different. We've had bands on before. Of course, we had Frozen Plastic, our, our, our in-house band. Uh, but. But this time we're gonna actually paint the band itself. So this is gonna be uh, kind of possibly, maybe impossible to do in terms of trying to get it all in there and, and feel like you really got a great painting because you were able to decipher certain things and really get it all figured out and feel like you got something that looks like something that you got. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that. What we want to do is just get some paint on the canvas. Let's just get going. Let's put the canvas into the paint and the paint into the canvas, vice versa, and use that big brush. And what we'll do is, is just kind of get going here. Just kind of ignite the canvas, get some paint on there. I'm not concerned about what I'm really going to paint yet. Uh, most likely we're going to try to capture the ambiance while man liquor carcano plays on. Okay, so big brush. Okay, let's go, big brush. Here we go, and I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre, okay? And, uh, you know, it's just sort of a, a, a neutral kind of color. It, you don't have to be using this. In fact, uh, a lot of people would say you probably shouldn't be using this. There's no rules to the game. We just go for it, all right? So, uh, but what we're doing here is we're just trying to break, break the ice of the idea that we're painting for, and get to a point where we maybe we're forgetting that we're painting, okay? That's kind of neat. Uh, paper towels are wonderful. A big brush is wonderful. And then a little medium sized brush is wonderful. And then, heck, a little teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny brush is nice. But what we like to do is, is try to concentrate on the big brush as long as possible. But uh, with a canvas this size, maybe we're better off just working on uh, maybe a smaller size brush to get a little more detailed if we want. But let's not worry about that. Let's just kind of plug away, plug away here. Uh, this is oil paints. And uh, this is a can of a uh, little jar with a uh, paint thinner in here. So we're just gonna dip in here to kind of get some juice going, all right? All right, now what's going on with that? Okay, there you go. So we dip in there and then you dip in your paint. That's how you gain the paint onto your brush with a little loot, a juice kind of thing. So think about cooking sometimes, how that works. How you, you know, just about a little pinch of salt, right? Well, a little pinch of paint might be good. Okay, so we kind of, we, we started this canvas, right, right? We got it all going on, right? There's, I mean, nothing's really going on, I know, John. Nothing's going on, I know. But, but it's okay. It's okay to think that you got nothing going on. Now let's just try to draw and, and kind of, block in what we got going on here. Okay, there's uh, and so I'm gonna try to capture all the, the different members of the band, okay? And we're gonna try to capture all the little elements with this white brush paint that we have. Now, you say to yourself, John, uh, why are you using white? It's just, you know, I, I felt like it. You know, I put my brush in there and I said, let's just kind of, if anything, let's just break break the ice here, break the rules, and let's just go for it and, and, and just try it with just the white. Try to, uh, try to capture as much as we can with the white, the figures that we're seeing here, huh? Okay? Okay. Now, with that big, we got kind of white. Now, I got kind of tired of using the white, you know, because I, I kind of, I addressed as much white as I think I possibly could have uh, done so. Uh, 
little problem over here with the cameraman Ray. Uh, <laughs> Ray almost fell over here. On, the studio here here at Eagle Rock is a little small, so the, the cameras are up against the wall. Yeah, my hat's off to you. Uh, the camera crew out here, the, uh, the, the people out here, they, they do a wonderful job here at Adelphia here at Eagle Rock uh, to produce this show, let me tell you. Okay, uh, I see a lot of red. There's red chairs, there's two red chairs and a red table. Okay, so what are we going to do? John, what could we possibly be doing? I'll tell you what we can do. Well, I got, I got some red on my palette here. So, well, two and two makes, you know, four. Well, heck, red, you see the red, I got red here. See, look how simple that is. It is just, it can be simple. Let's try not make it so difficult, okay? So I see the red there. Now I see some red chairs over there. I see two red chairs and a red red table. I even see some red, red uh, skin, complexion on the white skin over there. A little technical difficulty here, guys. Just hold with me. Is that better? All right. Okay. Okay. So look, I'm loaded. Loaded with that brush, huh? All right. Okay, so we're just going to go there. Look, at there's a chair over there. Boom. Do, 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 do. And I'm just going over it. I'm going, I'm, I'm attacking. I'm going even over that white and, that, and it's mixing. I don't care. I'm not going to get uptight about that white, the fact that it's getting mixed up. That's not an issue for me at the moment. And we're just going to keep going. I'm going to try to override it. Let's override it. You know, technical difficulty, just override it. Don't abort. Don't abort. Just go right over it. Just plow right over it. Let's just keep plowing right on there. Here's some more, uh, we're working on that chair. I'm kind of concentrating on that chair. Now, I'm not locked in on that chair, but I kind of have begun the locking in process in this painting. And it's given me some sort of reference point to start with. Because you see, this is a whole bunch of stuff to try to capture. So, you, you know, potentially you can't get it all, okay? So what you can do is just for starters, start with something that you see and, and maybe potentially work from that work work from that on the air on the way out now there's no rhyme or reason to this as you can see but the most important thing we want to get you to do is get out there and get some paint on your canvas and break that ice that is such a problem I mean it's like the stone ages here with that ice you need, you need to break through there uh, because there's so much of hesitation that we have with the, uh, the the problem that we have about getting that darn paint onto the canvas it's just a simple thing and yet we have a very hard time because a lot of us are, are perfectionists of sorts and so that will stop us from actually getting to the painting process okay uh, here's the table let's get the table on there I'm using a alizarin crimson and some red uh, medium uh, I'm beginning to